Hi, my name is Christy Valentine, and I'm doing the reading log for our poetry today. And the book I decided to do, do today is called Spot Plot by J. Patrick Lewis. And I chose this book because um, I'm planning on teaching with kindergarten students, and it seemed like a lot of fun um, for that specific age. Like, it's definitely targeted for younger um, readers instead of, you know, fourth, fifth graders. But Spot Plot is um, a book that is basically designed to have children kind of guess what poem or what book the poem is about. So each poem in the book represents um, a popular children's story such as Wizard of Oz, Pinocchio, Cinderella. Um, and I think there's around like 10 different poems in the book and they each represent a different story which I think is super fun because children can kind of play along and go along with the story. Um, you can read it together in the way that um, they can guess what poem it is. I mean, most of them are pretty obvious, but it's still a lot of fun for children to be able to do um, with each other. So I think the illustrations are also really nice for the book because whenever you can show them the illustration, it's a lot easier for them to guess because the illustrations are um, you know, based on that book that the poem is talking about. So, unfortunately, I could not find any of the, or I couldn't find this book in any of the local libraries around me, but I did, um, find it on my online library. So, I have, um, so this is the Wizard of Oz picture. So, you can see that the tornado's going, um, and it's also fun because in each picture, there is um, the detectives that are trying to spot what the plot is of the poem, which I think is super fun. So if we look here, this is Madeline. And so we also see the detectives here trying to spot the plot. I think that's just so fun for children to be able to um, kind of have a fun play along part of a poetry book. I think... Teaching children poetry at a young age, I have said this in other reading logs, and I just think it's really beneficial for them because poems can be so much more abstract and open their minds and creativity and just help them experience writing in a way that's not um, normal, not just like a narrative from a fiction or a nonfiction book. Poems are definitely more out of the box and more creative, so I think that it's a lot of fun for children to work with because then maybe they'll get inspired to write their own poems. Poetry is a great way to express feelings and, you know, um, just put whatever is in your head down on paper. There's tons of different types of poems that they can do. I just thought this was a really great one to start out with for younger children because it's a lot of fun. Like I said, they can play around with it, um, follow along with the storyline. And it's just an easier read than some of the more complex poetries. And then um, I think another life skill that children can get out of this is rhyming words because the book is very rhythmic and rhyming. And I know younger students have trouble with like which words might rhyme with other words. So I think that, you know, as we're reading it, we can point out, you know, this word rhymes with this word and that's why there's such a good rhythmic tone with it. So I think it would help a lot with children learning their rhyming words. An activity that I think would be great for this book is for a graphic organizer called the Poem Review. The Poem Review has a few things that children can answer, like what the poem was, a picture of how they think the poem should look, or like one of the pictures out of the books, um, the favorite line from the poem, and there's a few other ones as well. And it kind of just helps them to um, retain that information that they got from the poetry book. So yeah, I think it's a great book, especially for younger children, and I will definitely utilize it as a future teacher. Thank you.